day long. I'm beginning to feel like a society matron. Oh, Tony! I thought you were in the province! Is that you, Aling Atatang? Of course it's I, Polish boy. Why? You don't look like Aling Atam. Think it's horrible? Oh, no, no, no. no. You just look wonderful. I thought you were a teacher. You are so palikeras ever, Tony. But come in. Have a seat. How is your mother? Oh, poor mother. She's home sick for Tondo. She wants to come back here at once. How long have you been away? Only three months. What? Only three months? That's too long for Tondo native to be away from Tondo. My poor Kamara. She must be bored out there. Well, you know us engineers are always on call. But as soon as we finish the bridge in Balacan, we'll be going here in Tondo. Yes, we must bring her back as soon as possible. We miss her when we play Mahjong. That is what she misses most of all. I understand. Once a Tondo girl, always a Tondo girl. But I wonder if that fits my Kikai because up there in America, she says she's not homesick at all. When did Kikai arrive, Alingatam? Last Monday. I didn't know about it until I saw it on Facebook. She dragged me to the parlor, my hair was cut, eyebrows shaved, nails manicured, and when I'm going to the market, I use lipstick. All my kamara are laughing. People think I am a loose woman because of my age, but I can't do anything because it's hard to argue with Kikai, and she insists that I should look like an Americana. You just look wonderful. Where is she now? Who? Kikai. Oh, she's still sleeping. Still sleeping? She says in New York, people don't wake up until 12 noon. It's only 10 o'clock. Besides, she's busy since she came home. Welcome parties here and there. She starts all day long. She's spinning like a top. Well, will you tell her I called to welcome her and can you give her these flowers too? But surely, you're not going yet? I didn't want to see Kikai, but if she doesn't get up by 12 noon... Oh wait, I will go and wake her up. Please don't bother, Aling Atam. I can come back some other time. Wait right here! She will be simply delighted to see her childhood friend. The flowers are beautiful. How expensive they must be. Oh, they're nothing, Aling Atang. Oh, Tony. Yes, Aling Atang. You must not call me Aling Atang. Why not? Kikai says it is more civilized to call me Mrs. Mendoza. Yes, Aling. I mean, Mrs. Mendoza. Wait a minute, and I will call Kikai. Huh? Oh, Tony. Yes, Aling. I mean, Mrs. Mendoza. You must not call her Kikai. What shall I call her? You must call her Francesca. Francisca? No, not Francisca. Francesca. But, but why Francesca? Because in New York, she says that's the way they pronounce her name. It sounds like Chichi. So Italian, right? Be sure to call her Francesca and not Kikai, huh? Yes, Miss Mendoza. Now, wait right here while I call Francesca. Hi, just me, yo. Never mind, Miss Mendoza. I'll answer it. Just tell them to wait, Tony. Tony! Tony! George, son of your father. A big carabao. You ask me that. You look like a walking gold mine. How many depots have you looted? Hey, hey. More slowly there. It is you the police are looking for. Impossible. I'm a reformed character. Come in, Totoy. Okay, Tony. Good to see you, old pal. Here, have a smoke. I thought you were here in the province, partner. I am. I just came here to say hello to Kikai. Tony, I've been hearing the most frightful things about that girl. So have I. People say she has gone crazy. No, she's only gone New York. What was she doing in New York? Oh, studying. Studying what? Hair culture and beauty science. She got a diploma. Imagine that, our dear old Kikai. Pardon me, she's not Kikai anymore. She's Francesca. Francesca? Our dear Kikai is now American. Don't make me laugh. I knew that girl when she was still selling rice cake. Puto kayo dyan, bili kayo ng puto mga suki. Remember when we pushed her into the canal? Ah, uh, she chased us around the street. She was dripping with mud. Naku, how that girl could fight? <laughs> Wait, Totoy! Hey! And you told me too? What's all this? A Cantaboy reunion? Uh, we come here to greet the lady from New York. So how about? Is she at home? Alingatang's trying to wake her up. 
to wake her up? Is she still sleeping? No! She's awake already. She's dressing. Good morning, Nana and Totoy. I said good morning, Nana and Totoy. Why are you staring me like that? Is that you, Aling Atam? Good God, it is Aling Atam. It's Kika who prefers it. How you used to pinch and pinch me, Aling Atam, when I was a little girl? Because you were all naughty. Especially you, always sneaking into our bucket for mangoes. Do you still have mango tree? Yes. Come and help me carry something in the kitchen. Aling Atam, don't you prepare anything for us? We're not visitors. It's only orange juice. I was preparing some for Kikai. Well, to me? You shouldn't have come today, Nana. Oh, why not? I haven't talked with Kika yet. Not yet? I thought you said it last night. I lost my nerve. Oh, Tony. Use your head, Nana. It's not easy breaking off this engagement with Kikai. Or with the girl, for Christ's sake. Are you in love with Kikai or with me? Of course with you. I'm engaged with you. Yes, and with Kikai too. That was a year ago. Nana, you know how much I love you. How could you ask me if you're still engaged with Kikai? This is what I get for being honest. Honest? Making me fall for you while you're still engaged and in love with Kikai? I thought I didn't belong to Kikai anymore. It's only a secret engagement anyway. I proposed to her before she left for America. But when she stopped answering my letters, I considered myself a free man again. And so you proposed to me? Yes. Would you tell me to keep it a secret? Because I found out that Kiki was coming back. I'm tired of being secretly engaged to you. Just give me a chance to explain to Kiki. Then we'll tell her. Well, you better hurry. I'm getting impatient. How can I talk to Kiki? Why not? Because you're here and daughter too. I don't want to jerk Kika in front of everybody. You want me and Tata to clear up? No, just give me a chance to be alone with Kika for a moment. I'll take care of Tata. Let's go. Just leave it to me. Puto kayo dyan. Bili na kayo. Puto na puto. Oh, anyway. Here comes Kika! But she wants to call her Francesca! you look? Oh goodness, you look like a Super Thunder production in Technicolor. I love it. But have a seat, please. Have a seat. And let me look at you. Oh, Moxie, what's the matter now? How many times do I have to tell you not to serve fruit juices and water glasses? Oh, I couldn't find those tall glasses you brought home. Oh, poor little Moxie. She's so clumsy, no? But never mind, don't break your heart about it. Just sit down. No, I must be going to the market. Oh, don't forget my salary. I can live without it. You know, I'm like a rabbit. Munch, munch all day. But a few people will excuse me. Don't you remember me to your mother? Oh, and remember, a little bloom on your lips and a little bloom on your cheeks. Say, mama. Do I have to, Kikai? Again, mom, see? Do I have to paint this old face of mine? Francesca, what am I going to do with you? But you put it dreadfully. What I'm going to do with you, Momsy? I give up! Poor little Momsy. How pathetic. Tell us about New York. How long did you stay there? 10 months, 4 days, 7 hours, 20 minutes. And she's still there in her dream. Yes, I feel that I was still there. That I never left it. I feel that I lived there all my life. But when I look around, I realized that, no, no, I am not in New York. I'm home. But which is home for me? This can't be home because my heart aches with homesickness. I don't think we ought to be here at all. Yes, we shouldn't disturb her. Let's all just walk out very, very quietly. And let's leave her alone with her memories. Is that the girl we used to go swimming in mud puddles with? Oh, New York. My own dear New York. Tatoy, will you come with me? To the ends of the world. No, darling, just out to our dear little backyard. Oh, backyard of Tondo, the barong barongs of my paho, the streets of Sibakong. No, listen, idiot. Are you coming with me or not? Anywhere, dream girl. Anywhere at all. Apparently, 
Our Toto is still as a terrific Russian nana. Do wake up, Tony. Why do you look so miserable? Okay, I don't know how to begin. Just call me Francesca. That's a good beginning. There is something I must tell you. Something important. Oh, Tony, can we just forget all about it? Forget? Let's forget. That's the New York way, Tony. Forget. Nothing is too serious about. Nothing must drag on too long. Tonight, give all your heart. And tomorrow, forget. And when you meet again, just smile, shake hands. Just a good sport. What are you talking about? Tony, I was only a child that time. When? Uh, when you and I got engaged. I've changed so much since then. That was only a year ago. Uh, to me, it seems a century. So much had happened to me. More can happen to you in one year in New York. Listen, I don't want to talk about New York. I want to talk about our engagement. And that's what we cannot do, Tony. Not anymore. Why not? Tony, you got engaged to a girl named Kikai. Well, that girl doesn't exist anymore. She's dead. And the person standing in front of you is Francesca. Don't you see, Tony? I'm a stranger to you. I hate to hurt you, but there's no engagement anymore. Imagine, a New York girl marrying a tall boy? That's so insane. Now look here. I'm sorry if I've hurt you, Tony. I'm not gonna sit here and get insulted. Hush, Tony. Don't shout. Don't lose your temper. It's so uncivilized. People in New York don't lose their temper. What do you want me to do? Smile and say thank you for slapping my face? Yes, Tony. Be a sport. Let's just smile, shake hands, and be good friends, huh? If you weren't a lady, I'd... I'd... Hold it, Tony. You must never hit a woman. What's all this? Nothing. Nothing at all. What are you quarreling about? We were not quarreling. We just decided to be good friends and nothing more. Tony, is it true? Yes. Now we can tell them. Tell us what? What's going on here? Tony and I are engaged. Engage! Engage! Yes, we've been secretly engaged for a month. A month? Why you? You? I didn't try to tell you, Kikai. I was trying to tell you. You unspeakable cat! Hey, carefully there. You're speaking to my kids. He's not your fiancé. Oh no, and why not? Because huh? he's still engaged to me when he got engaged to you. Well, he's not engaged to you anymore. You just said it yourself. <sighs> but I didn't know all about this. No, remember, Kikai. It's so uncivilized to lose one's temper. People in New York don't lose their temper. I've never felt so humiliated in my whole life. You beast, I'll teach you how to. I told you to leave him alone. He's my fiancé. And I tell you, he's not. I haven't released him yet. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You're just being a dog in the manger. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, stealing a man behind my back. What? What did you say? You keep out of this. Shameless hussy, man eater. Ah. How dare you suffer? She hit me first. Look what you've done to her. Are you trying to defend her? Shut you up. never defended me. Shut up. I hate you. I hate you. Shut up or I'll bash you from above. Hey, don't talk to Nana that way. You give out of this. He's more of a gentleman than you are. He defends me. You take your hands off her. I told you to give out of this. Oh, Totoy, you've saved my life. Tony, open your eyes. Oh, get away from her. Take me away from here. Are you still engaged to him? I hate him. I never want to see him again in my life. Good, come on, let's go. Hey! Don't you speak to me, you I wasn't talking to you. Don't you speak to me either. You have insulted the woman I love. Oh, Totoy, why have you never told me? Well, now you know. Congratulations! Let's go, darling. I don't like the smell around you. Now you've ruined my life. I hope you're satisfied. I ruined your life? You ruined mine? But you need this good spanking. No, don't you come near me, you canto boy. Don't worry, I wouldn't touch you with my 10-foot pole. And I wouldn't touch you with my 20-foot pole. Just one year in New York, and you forgot your old friends? Yes! Just one year in New York, but what did you do? You got engaged to another woman. You promised to wait for me, but and I believe you. What are you crying about? Be brave. Forget. That's a New York way. Nothing is ever too serious. Nothing drives on too long. Tony, please. 
Because there could be no more talk about an engagement between us. Imagine a New York girl marrying a Tondo girl. Oh, Tony, I've been such a fool. I'm sorry, Tony. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not. I'm glad I found out what kind of person you are. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm not that kind of person at all. Oh, person is just a relative name, huh? Yes, Tony. That was Francesca saying all that. And Francesca doesn't exist anymore. The person standing with you now is Kikai. And that's silly dress. Oh, Tony, this is just a gift wrapping. Well, well, well. Yes, it's you. I see you. Yeah, you remember me? I remember it right. I was right. I was engaged to her name. Yes, Tony. You're still engaged to her. Welcome home, Kika. How was the trip? Horrible. I can't wait to get back. Like it in New York? Ah, you can do it. I have a chance to meet at this. Because Francesca wouldn't let me do it. That nasty girl. I'm glad she's dead. Francesca! Francesca! Oh, Tony, are you still here?